Hi, I'm Zandi from The Work Is Getting To Me, and today I'd like to talk to you about what I've been working on with my drop spindle. This is the yarn that I've been making, and it's kind of a variegated type of colorway using two different types of fibers, and it's just using joins to make this kind of unique color happen. So this is my main color and it's just a plain natural wool and this is my contrast and it's white wool that I dyed with some country classics dye. So this is my drop spindle. I think I made this about three or four months ago when I decided to start spinning and it's a yo-yo, half of a yo-yo. This is the other the other half, and a dowel with a little hook. And it was made kind of in a rush because I wanted to spin right away, but it works very well. So you can see right now I've got some red yarn and it's on the spindle and I'm ready to join back into some of my neutral. And this is part of a piece of roving that I've split off and I just like to tuck it in to my sleeve to keep it out of the way. So I'm just going to join this and while I'm doing that. So this yarn is about 15 parts neutral and one part red and you'll see that it's entirely made with join. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but maybe against my dark sweater, you can see that down here by the spindle, it's red and somewhere in the middle, the color changes where I've joined it. And in my hand now spinning, I have the natural. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You can see that I've spun a little bit of the natural color and I'm also holding the red. I'm not ready to join it yet with this hand, but I don't want to go over to the table. I want to have it ready when, whenever I need it. So you just spin out. I'm going to spin out a little bit more of this color. And then I'm just going to break it off. And while my spindle is kind of idling, I'm going to pull out these red fibers. They're a little bit felted, so I'm getting them ready. And I'm holding them together and I'm going to give it another spin while it's going really fast. You can hold them together and they'll just stick like that. And now your red is joined on. And I can spin out I guess usually um, enough red until I feel like it's time to wind on and then I'll switch back and that's how I'm getting those uh, short color bursts in the yarn. So I'm going to show you now how to join like I did before and we're a little bit closer now. So you can see I have my red ready and tucked in my sleeve and I have my natural on the spindle and with a loose end, a fuzzy end. And I'm just going to draft out a little bit of the red so it's ready and hold it to where my fuzzy fiber starts. Spin the spindle and just let it go. And now you can see I'm just going to continue and it's joined. When you filled your spindle, you can wind on to a bobbin or one of these, which is a sort of spool that they store the chain on in the hardware store. 
and I got it when I bought some chain. And then from this, you ply your yarn. And I've been using the Navajo plying method to keep the color kind of in pools in the yarn. And in my next video, I will show you how to do that. Thank you for watching my video tutorial. You can find the photo version of this and other fun craft projects at theworkisgettingtome.blogspot.com. Bye!